Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. My name is Brandon and uh, this is part two of converting our conference room into a studio room. And uh, I just want to share with you uh, a couple of updates and also uh, show you some of the things that we purchased. And uh, this is uh, kind of a low budget thing, as I mentioned in part one. Uh, but anyways, it hasn't gone as, as fast as I want to uh, due to some scheduling stuff, but uh, we are making a little bit of progress and I'm going to show you that in just a minute. Uh, one of the things we purchased uh, for this room is a Netgear uh, network switch. And um, this is the 300 series and a GS308 to be exact. Um, I did get this and if if I wasn't on such a tight budget, I'd have probably got the one uh, that supports PoE. This one does not support PoE. And, uh, and the reason why is because uh, we're gonna be installing a, uh, a uh, Unify Ubiquity, I think it's G3 Dome uh, camera. And uh, yeah, G3 Dome. And uh, we actually purchased this back in March of 2020 um, as just to kind of see of a, a, a sample. And uh, we were planning on redoing our security system here at our church and also updating the internet all at one time and trying to get a price on it. And before we bought a bunch of cameras, we just wanted to check it out. And, uh, and obviously, as I said, March 2020, you know, that's right when COVID started getting big. And uh, so we just kind of did a halt on that. Um, and so anyways, we still have our old security system in place. Uh, but I, I remembered last night uh, whenever I was thinking about this whole process, um, about that I, I possibly had this camera left and I kept trying to find it and found it today. And uh, so anyways, we're gonna put this in the back of the sanctuary and it's gonna be right above the sound booth uh, hanging from our conference monitor. Uh, it may not look as, as great just like it is, but I'm gonna try to figure out a way to make it look a bit, little bit better. Um, but anyways, uh, that's gonna give us, uh, give us a picture of the whole sanctuary during service. So here in the studio room, we'll be able to see what's all going on. Uh, not just whatever's in those two main cameras that we have. And um, so anyways, the reason why I said I wish we would have had PoE um, is because uh, if you have PoE, you don't have to run an extra little adapter there for power, uh, but not a big deal. I mean, it came with one. And so we'll go from there. And then another thing I bought, uh, and uh, I'll tell you my rationale on it, is I bought uh, just a one by two HDMI splitter. So one in, two out. And uh, this, this thing was like 13, 14 bucks, something like that. And uh, one of the ways that I'm trying to save a little bit of money that I thought about the other day is um, coming from our uh, ATM in the back of the sanctuary, uh, we have it run off our auxiliary, uh, an auxiliary out, and it runs to our projectors. And uh, I have one cable running from the auxiliary to our first projector, and uh, our other projector is probably about 10, 15 feet from the other one. And uh, anyways, uh, but basically I have it running SDI, and then when I get up there, I go from SDI to HDMI, and, uh, and then on the loop out, I run another little small SDI cable over and then run another SDI to HDMI adapter. Well, for this particular project, uh, I eventually wanna have uh, two video feeds in here besides the security camera feed uh, from the back of the sanctuary. One is gonna be showing our multi-view and one's gonna be showing just the program view. And uh, so I've gotta run that from our sound booth where our ATM is into this room. And, uh, and so instead of buying another SDI to HDMI adapter, I already had one spare, but I was like, I can buy this little $13 adapter. And, uh, and since it's such a short distance, uh, just get a 15 foot HDMI cable and take that second SDI to HDMI adapter and, uh, and just use that. And so basically what I'll do is I'll run, you know, it's just like I said, a SDI down to the, the first projector. And then when I get to the SDI to HDMI adapter, I'll come out of there, go straight into the splitter, and then I'll split two off. One goes to each projector. And uh, so don't think I'll have too many problems with that. I have used one of these before for other things. Um, and so, you know, that's 14 bucks compared to buying, you know, one with a power adapter that's 60 bucks. And, uh, and so anyways, uh, we bought some, uh, some more ethernet cables just for uh, hooking up stuff. And then also um, some HDMI cables and stuff like that. Now I'm getting ready to run some long cables into this, this uh, studio room. And uh, I'll kind of show you some of the stuff. Uh, it's gonna flip this around and see if I can show you uh, a couple of things of what we're gonna be doing. Uh, there is our wall and I put the landscape fabric up and uh, a cool thing about that is um, for me, I didn't have to put two layers of it. Uh, it turned out that this particular landscape fabric was actually thicker um, 
than the kind that we used on our sanctuary platform. And so one layer all the way down and it took about maybe six rows of it and it turned out pretty good. There is a few wrinkles that I'll probably get out later on. Uh, but right now I've got some other stuff going on. So I'm not too worried about it right now. Now with the green screen, as I said in the first video, uh, that's going to be coming down, but it's covering up a bookshelf. So we'll probably put a, a black uh, curtain up over that. Uh, and then in the top corner, uh, right up there, we're going to be uh, dropping all of our cables down from the sanctuary. And um, if you look right now, this is our conference room table. Uh, I'm going to be taking that down uh, either tonight or sometime this next week and uh, removing it and but keeping it to where it's not going to get messed up along with the chairs and all those will be exiting out. Now, uh, here is one of the TVs that we had extra along with those JBL studio speakers that I had mentioned in the first video. And uh, this particular TV uh, was just a spare one. It's, I believe it's like a 50 inch. Uh, it's not smart or anything like that, but uh, that's gonna be our multi-view uh, multi TV. And uh, I hope to have it mounted on the wall. And then right over here, basically it's a 60 inch LG TV. Uh, it's a little bit older and it's quite heavy, but it's a 1080p. And, uh, and so anyways, uh, 1080p is what we need the minimum. And so uh, it will do for now. So as I said, this was kind of a low budget thing. And so anything I can do to, to kind of save some money or use what we already have, uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Let's go on out here uh, into the uh, sanctuary. And uh, out here, I'm getting ready. I got the, the ladder up um, to take that SDI to HDMI adapter off and I'll put the splitter up there. And then back here at the, sanctuary, the back sanctuary wall up against the studio room, uh, I hope to eventually hide that cable, but that's going to our camera. But if you look up in the top, you may see a little bit of a grayish area right about there. Uh, that's where we're gonna be dropping the, the wires through. So they'll follow along the lights and uh, go over there um, to our sound booth area. And so I already have all the cables started uh, unraveling all those. And so we're good on that. And uh, I'm going to be putting those, zip tied those together and uh, go from there. Uh, one of the things that I mentioned was the security camera. And so as of now, my plan is to somehow attach it to the bottom of our confidence monitor right there. And that should give us an overall shot of what's going on here in the sanctuary, or at least for the most part of it. And so anyways, so far it's coming together and uh, hopefully everything will continue to work smooth. Probably gonna need a little help with mounting the TVs and stuff because they are heavy and I wanna make sure um, that I get it all uh, right and into the studs because the studs here in, uh, in our building, are metal and uh, so I want to make sure I get them uh, right for the, the weight of the TV. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed the uh, the second update. Not a lot of stuff to, to show as far as being done, but a lot of stuff that's being prepared. And so uh, we'll be looking forward to part three and we'll probably finish it up with part three. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank y'all so much. Y'all have a great day.